We've heard all of the cliches before where, hey, if you don't beat me now, you won't beat me. Hey, my team is coming. You know, everybody won't be here till in the fall. Well, you know what? Guess what? Most of those folks, they went ahead and took on the, they took on the challenge during the spring and said, hey, guess what? We're going to go ahead and put it to you right now, and we're going to let you know when you come back in the fall, we're going to put it to you again. I believe Coach Maynard and his coach staff is on to something. They're putting something together phenomenal at Alabama a and Ooh, child. It's about to be a prime out there. Hey, before I go any further, let me uh, also shout out my subscriber, Mr. Sands. I ran into him at the uh, Alabama a and Prospect Camp this past weekend. I want to salute you, brother. I, I enjoyed the conversation with you and look forward to seeing you again. And I hope your young man is getting uh, getting those looks that he needs and also getting to all those camps that we talked about. You know your favorite coach is at it again. Ten toes down, I'm going to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network. And if you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Also, comment on the video. We're trying to kick this YouTube algorithm in the behind so that I can make sure that more and more of you are getting these videos as they come out. Also, for all my leaders out there, I want to say welcome back, guys. And don't forget to like these videos and comment on these videos as well. And also, hey, tap in a friend. Tell them to come on in. Y'all know the routine. We're about to go ahead and tap on in and get this thing going right now. Man, when I tell you, when I tell you, the Bulldogs, they lost a significant piece this spring. Marcus Cushing leaving, going to the University of Purdue to continue his collegiate uh, football career. But let me tell you something. Coach Maynard, you know, hey, he, he's cool. Hey, he's cool as the other side of the pillow when it comes to doing things in a manner in which he wants to do it. You know, him and his staff, boy, I got to tell you right now, they are truly A1. I enjoyed the conversation, the brief conversation that we had together while I was at that camp. But I'm going to tell you something right now. The champs just keep getting pieces that continue to keep falling in their lap without no hesitation. And when I say they got a piece that's a big piece, this young man is six foot four, 195 pound defensive back. Now I know y'all like, wait a minute, coach, defensive back. Yeah, defensive back. You remember a lot of you guys out there, some of the videos was talking about how, oh, they're a little soft back there at the DBs, but them DBs stepped up in the championship game and got them over the hump for them to win that game against University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, right? That's right. But guess what? This young man, he played in the Missouri Valley Conference, excuse me, the Missouri Valley Football Conference, you know, against them teams like the Jack Rabbits, South Dakota Jack Rabbits, excuse me, South Dakota State Jack Rabbits, and, you know, none other than Sam Hughes, who won the championship this past spring. In the four games that he played in this season, he recorded 11 tackles, one for a loss, and two pass breakups. Now, let me say, let me tell you this before y'all get to say it, but coach, you know, hey, coach, that sound all well and great, but it don't sound like he did too much. Well, I tell you what, understand one thing and understand it clearly. Make sure you strap in and tell them babies to drink some milk because if they don't drink that milk and eat their Wheaties the week before and the week until week up until they play Alabama and them, boy, there's going to be some problems out there because this young man loves to come drop that boom and let you know, hey, he's here. Yes, sir. The Spencer train is coming. That's right, guys. Y'all already know. Hey, I hope y'all understand one thing. When the Spencer Perry train come down, come down here, he ain't slowing down. It's full steam ahead. Trust what I'm telling you here. You know what? Let me let me tell you right now. This young man coming to this young man coming to become a part of the Alabama AM Bulldogs program is boy, it's it's it's, it's something that's gonna be phenomenal. All I'm gonna tell you is this, he coming to knock some <clears throat> loose and you can fill in the blank right there i'm telling you right now this young man is serious when he comes to dropping them booms and not to mention guys he also had two pass breakups i'm just i just got to put that out there as well because i don't want you to think that he's just coming out there to knock you out he's coming out there to make sure you don't get the ball either so congratulations to spencer perry and wish you nothing but the best of luck in your upcoming season with the alabama and m bulldogs excuse me with the alabama and m swag champions as well as the Celebration Bowl champions. I forgot to put that part in there. Please forgive me, guys. Forgive Coach Walker. Sometimes I get a little beside myself. And you know what? I'm a little excited because when I see this man film, oh, my God. Yes. It's about to be a party in the swag. And guess what? Alabama and them Bulldogs got something to say. Y'all better bring it, boy, because I'm telling you, this thing is going to be crucial. Coach going to go ahead and tap on out this thing. Until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Remember, be the one and leave.